South Dakota now. Sioux Falls, North South Dakota, heading to Falls Park. It's a little park with waterfalls that the Sioux Falls is named after. So probably uh, hang out for a little, a little bit there, rest up, and then there's a campground about uh, an hour south from here, maybe a little less. All right guys, so I'm up on the viewing tower here at Sioux Falls, Falls Park in South Dakota. You can see my van parked down there. and. There's this river running through here. Let me go, I'm up on this viewing tower so you can see pretty much all of it. It's an old hydroelectric plant. Now that's a restaurant. You can see the falls there, pretty area. Sioux Falls Park is definitely a nice uh, day park to hang out and uh, just enjoy the peacefulness of the sound of the waterfalls as well as um, checking out all the neat quartz rock formations. Um, it's really neat just the way the rock is formed all around the, the river and uh, just peaceful nice big uh, lawns uh, with shady trees to just hang out and enjoy lunch um, and just spend the day here relaxing. So. Uh, I'm actually going to move on. I spent uh, a couple hours here exploring. All right, this looks very interesting, guys. Uh, looks like one of these city parks that you can camp at. Very small. Saw a couple rigs here. I'm not sure if I can get in from this way. All right, very interesting campground, guys. It's basically like a little city park. And the campsites are like... It's like right next to the main road here. Um, I'll drive around one more time. I, my camera died right when I pulled in, so I'm using a different camera. This is cool for what it is, but I, I don't, this is not my kind of spot. I want to be out in the middle of kind of nowhere. <laughs> this is like right in the middle of town. How funny. But it's cool. It's offered here. I mean, can't argue with free camping. Two nights free and then five bucks a night after that. All right, maybe I'll go check one of those spots that has a hookup and see if I can get free electric. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, so this is a very interesting campground here. Um, you can see there's the main road here. It's kind of a college town. And, uh, you know, a lot of college students walking around, you know, college textbook stores, the university is right up the road. <clears throat> and then there's this little city park that has campsites and it's totally free. Uh, you can spend uh, your first two nights here free. And then after that, they ask for a, a $5 donation. So it's really, I mean, if you didn't have the money, I guess you could stay here longer without paying. Um, so each site, has a fire ring and picnic bench and then, then there's four sites over here that have hookups and they're on it's amazing that you get free electricity um, so we'll go over to the sign here they have a little donation box donation of five dollars per day after the third day by permission only so I guess you do have to talk to somebody. Here's the slot here. I guess you just drop a bill in there. There's a few, there's sites all along here that have water. And they have a dump over here, a dump station. And 
nets free and it's not locked or anything so pretty cool for a town to offer that um, I think that's really neat when places offer free camping um, like I said it's not really my ideal spot being right next to a road here but I would imagine um, you know middle of the week it probably is pretty quiet after dark um, not a lot of traffic but I'll take it it's free I was on the road a long day today and also I'm connecting with Amazon uh, they need to set up a drug screen that's the way they do it um, and because it's camper force they're used to people being on the road you just email them your current zip code which I did this zip code and they should respond and they basically find a place that can do that so this is downtown Vermilion Church Street cool little town I'm trying to find the library to print something out I got it an email uh, I'm gonna be going up to do my drug screen for Amazon and they have a form you need printed out so I'm hoping I can do that at a library arriving at address 18 on left which should be right here all right guys so this is the place I went for the drug screen it's just a urinalysis this any lab test now uh, unfortunately I had to backtrack 50 miles from where I just was the day before um, up in Sioux Falls so now I'm gonna go back down to where I was camped and probably spend one more day there um, I got some cleaning to do in the van I need to do some housekeeping I need to do some video editing get a video uploaded um, and you know kind of some busy work type stuff uh, so I'm gonna take care of that and then probably hit the road first thing tomorrow morning and uh, yeah so that's kind of how it works with Amazon they send you a, a, a little form to print out you bring it to this place they set you up with uh, the nearest place they can find given the zip code you give them and then you go from there so real simple they got me in and out within five minutes uh, fortunately I had to go I had some coffee before I left so um, yeah I was really surprised they got me right in and out of there with just a few minutes super smooth quick easy